is Cami Adler-Roth. I'm the Children's Program Manager at Care Dimensions, and I'm here today to read a story to you called Listening to My Body. And this is a really great story. I really like it because it helps us connect our minds to our bodies and our hearts. And <clears throat> another reason I really love this book is because people who are reading it get to participate. They get to do some activities while we read together to practice. So I hope that you will enjoy this book and find some comfortable space with some room to stretch about and join me as we read this story called Listening to My Body by Gabby Garcia. This is Gabby's picture. Listening to My Body, a guide to helping kids understand the connection between sensations, what the heck are those? and feelings so that they can get better at figuring out what they need. This book also has a note to grown-ups who help take care of kids. I like that about this book. My body is my friend. It tells me lots of things. <sighs> Yawn when I am tired. My stomach growls to let me know I'm hungry. And sometimes I get goosebumps when I'm cold. This happens on its own without me doing anything. I may not even notice that it's happening, but I can start paying attention to my body and so can you. Let's practice. Look closely at the palm of your hand and slowly trace the line in the palm of your hand with your finger very softly. When you finish, switch hands. How did that feel? When I pay attention to my body and listen, I notice many different sensations. Sensations are the physical feelings we all have inside and outside our bodies. Cold, sweaty, strong, and breathless are examples of some sensations. Have you felt these sensations before? Let's practice. Ready? Rub your hands together quickly for 30 seconds. What do you notice? Heat, tingles, sweat, anything else? These are sensations. The sensations in my body are always changing. There are times when my body is so wiggly and squirmy that it feels like I have ants in my pants. Other times my body is calm and still. Sometimes the beat of my heart is like a gentle tap. Sometimes it feels like a pounding drum. Let's practice. Place your hand on your heart and find its beat. It's okay if you can't. Now jump up and down quickly 15 times. Go ahead and press pause here while you jump. Place your hand on your heart again. What happened to your heartbeat? Did it change or stay the same? Do you notice anything else? Like a change in your temperature or your breathing? I feel out of breath. I can also listen to my body for clues about how I'm feeling about the things happening around me. Feelings are not good or bad. They're just something we all experience. Curious. Proud, grumpy, and scared are a few feelings we all have. What other feelings can you name? 
What I've learned from listening to my body is that sensations and feelings go together. I noticed this when I got to ride a roller coaster for the first time. I was super excited that I was finally tall enough to ride, but I also felt nervous as I climbed on board. My belly felt squishy and fluttery. Some people call that having butterflies in your stomach, but I think it feels more like chasing a kid, like a kitty chasing ping pong balls in the air. What sensations do you notice when you're excited or nervous? Hmm. Sometimes I get a lump in my throat. When I get off the roller coaster, I was buzzing and tingly all over. My eyes were like saucers and I had a smile plastered on my face. I felt awesome! Let's practice. Place your hand on your belly and take 10 deep breaths breaths. Notice your belly as it comes in and out with each breath. How does your belly feel? Soft, relaxed, tight. Something else? Sometimes when I'm sad, I get a lump in my throat that makes it hard to talk or breathe. Soon, warm tears roll down my face and I may start to cry harder. Crying makes me feel better. So do hugs. We all feel sad at times, especially when we are missing someone. What do you need when you're sad? Let's practice. Wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a gentle hug. Move your hands up and down your arms. Squeeze a little tighter and find what feels right for you. Do you like a tight hug or a gentle squeeze? My mom once explained to me that sensations and feelings are like the waves in the ocean. Some come crashing in while others roll in gently and they always come and go. We can't stop the waves from coming, but we can pay attention to them so they don't knock us over. Sometimes my skin gets burning hot and my jaw and fist feel hard as rocks that happened to my body the last time I got really angry at my sister. She'd just destroyed the puzzle I was working on all afternoon. I stomped my feet and slammed the door, but I really wanted to kick it. But then I remembered to take deep breaths and blow out through my lips like a horse. And it didn't take long for my jaw and hands to relax and for my skin to feel, cool down. Hmm, horse. The angry feeling and sensations faded away. Blowing horse lips even made me feel a little silly and it tickled. I decided to put the puzzle on a table that my sister couldn't reach. Are you ready to practice? We're gonna do horse lips. Mm -hmm. Close your mouth so that your lips touch gently. Inhale through your nose and blow out a strong puff of air through your mouth so that your lips flap like a horse's.
Try that a couple of times. What do you notice? How do your lips and jaw feel? <laughs> oh man, mine feel more relaxed and a little slippery from spit. Sometimes I get overwhelmed and need help from a grown up. On the first day of school, I woke up super early because I couldn't stop thinking about what my new class would be like. My stomach felt like it was tied in knots, so I didn't eat breakfast. In class, it was hard for me to focus on what my new teacher, Ms. Morgan, was saying, and my body was shaky. When it was time for me to line up, I accidentally bumped my desk and knocked all my stuff onto the floor. Everything was going wrong. Ms. Morgan helped me pick up my things, and I took deep breaths like she reminded me. I told her about my morning, and she explained that our brains have a hard time thinking when our bodies are tired and hungry. Ms. Morgan thought I would feel better if I had a snack and rested in a quiet area while the class was at recess. She was right. I was calm and able to focus, so the rest of my day went much better. It's okay to get help when we need it. Who's an adult that helps you? At other times when I'm upset, I can figure out what I need on my own by listening to my body. I can pay attention to, breathe, to my breathing, my heartbeat, the temperature of my skin, or any other sensation. Am I hungry or thirsty? Tired or full of energy? Is my belly tense and tight or soft and relaxed? These are just some questions I can ask myself. I can also try to name my feelings. Do I feel peaceful or playful? Confused or frustrated? Hurt or cranky? There are many different ways I can be feeling and they are all okay. Listening to my body and naming what I feel takes practice, but it helps me figure out what I need. Do I need to have a snack, drink some water, or get some rest? Do I need to take a deep breath or sing my favorite song? Do I need to sit in a quiet place alone or go outside and jump around? I can color or draw, dance, cuddle with my dog, or hang around someone I love. These are things I do that help me feel calm, happy, or peaceful. Everybody is different, so you get to decide what is best for you. The more I practice listening to my body, the better I get at responding with care and kindness for myself. I can get better at listening to my body, and so can you. Let's practice. Listen to your body. Do you want to sit down or stand up? Do you need to be still or move around? Would you like to wiggle and jiggle, hop or dance? It's your body, so you get to decide. Move in a way that feels good to you. This book also has some activities you can do if you decide to take this book out from the library or order a copy for yourself. The end. I really like this book, you guys. It's a lot of fun, and I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thanks for joining me today. And always remember, you can listen to your body to help yourself know what you need to take care of you. Take care. Bye-bye.